Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Rants. My name is Q, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about whether 2K displays or you know what is it, quad HD displays and 4K displays are they absolutely necessary? Let's get started. All right, guys. So first things first. Uh, I know what you guys are going to think. Oh, you you can't see it anyway, so you know, of course, how can you speak on it? Well, I can speak on it. So. Now, I'm not going to sit here and bash a 2K display, a quad HD display, a 4K, you know, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to bash any of, this, any, blah, any of these displays. I'm pretty sure they look fabulous. Okay, I'm not going to take that away from them, especially like a Samsung because they use the Super uh, AMOLED uh, displays. So, I'm not going to take that away from Samsung at all. I'm pretty sure, you know, that those displays look fabulous. But in everyday real world usage, how much is a quad HD or a 2K? Like, how bad is it really going to matter? Now, let's take a look at, uh, you know, a couple factors. So, 2K displays and, um, you know, uh, 4K displays, yes, they look fabulous. However, they use, you know, they're, they're requiring a lot of power most times. And let's just be honest, most smartphone manufacturers, you know, they'll they'll charge a thousand bucks for a phone, but they don't even put, um, you know, they don't even put a decent enough battery in it. It may get you through the day, but honestly, it, you know, you're going to definitely have to charge it at the end of the day. So... Quad HD displays, yes, they look good, you know, especially when you're watching videos, you know, if you can get a video above 1080p and you have a phone that can handle 4K videos or uh, quad HD video, hey, more power to you. But honestly, a 1080p display or a 720p display, so like, you know, now we're going into the um, 18 by 9 aspect ratios, so full HD plus. You know, full HD plus is actually better on battery than quad HD. And then 720p or HD plus as they call it, which is 1440 by 720, is way better on battery life than anything combined. I mean, and honestly, you have to ask yourself, like, why? I mean, if, you know, if you're on a TV, uh, if you're on a TV then yes quad hd 4k all that will look wonderful but on a smartphone it's not i mean in my personal opinion it's not really necessary like, like i said before i'm not bashing a quad hd display i'm not bashing a um a 4k display it's just you know it's just not it's you know it's not really necessary now if you are paying a thousand dollars two thousand dollars for a phone then yes, a quad HD should be included because you need to feel better about paying your thousand bucks. But the average person, the average person, I can already tell you that really, they really are not going to notice too much of a difference. And, you know, the biggest thing is, is that, uh, you know, I deal with a lot of people that that really um, complain is, is a nice way of saying it. They, they moan and, and cry and writhe about how the battery is dying so badly. It's oh my god, my battery. Oh, it doesn't. It's dying. Oh my god, what I do? Well, you got your phone set to maximum um, resolution, and you have your brightness all the way up. Is all of that necessary? You know, I would take a phone. You know, actually, if I paid four hundred and fifty bucks for a phone. You know, and it had, let's just say it had a full, uh, it had a full HD plus or even just a, a regular HD plus. But the processor was good and it had a decent sized battery, decent, pro, you know, decent processor and all the other specs was good. I would actually pay for it strictly because I know I'm going to get good battery life. So let's say you gave me, a, you give me, let's see, you give me a $700 phone that has somewhat, you know, top of the line specs. You know, Snapdragon 845, 
about let's see I say three to four four gigs of RAM, four to six gigs of RAM. You know, let's say it's about a 5.7 to a six inch display, 18 by nine aspect ratio, Squad HD, and there is a 3,200 milliamp hour battery. Then you put a phone in front of me that's about 350 to $400, has those same specs, but the screen is full HD plus and has a 3,500 milliamp hour to a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. I'm going to take that one, of course, because yes, yeah, I know the screen is probably not going to look as sharp. You know, for me personally, I can't see it anyway, but even if I could, I would take it because of battery life. Battery life is going to be the main key for me. That's battery life and performance are my main key factors when I consider in buying a phone. If the performance is good and the battery life is good, I don't care about the screen. I don't care about the screen resolution or anything like that. As long as the phone gets done what I needed to get done for me personally, I'm not going to complain. And so you know, people are sitting up here. I need a quad HD display. I need a. Quad. If you like, I said, unless you're paying premium prices for a phone, I can't sympathize with you. If you're somebody that you're looking to buy a phone for three, four hundred bucks, or even one, two hundred bucks, you don't expect these phones to run around here and, and boast quad HD displays. It's just not going to happen because you know you're setting your standards too low. And honestly, do you need it? You're going to get this quad HD display, and then eventually, you know, you're, you're Matt rocking it on max brightness, and your battery's going to drain, and you're going to be complaining and whining. So, to me, battery life is way more important than the display you know especially since i can't see it but i think most people the average person would probably agree because like i said the average person is not going to be able to differ differentiate quad hd from full hd it's they're not unless they really 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 pay attention you know and you can point it out to them they're not really going to be able to under you know to dip, uh, differ so you know battery life to me is just more important now if you know if you really are somebody that that does not agree more power to you but in my opinion i'd rather have good battery life than a big bright ass display okay because battery life is definitely going to carry me through you know my phone is going to last longer through the day that means less time i have to you know less time I have to worry about it, putting it on charger and more money in my pocket because I'm going to save money on the electric bill. So me personally, battery life is the key here. So yeah, guys, just thought I'd put this out here. If this was helpful, informative in any way, please leave a like on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this or any other topic that uh, you want me to go about. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Share it. Tell your friends. And I will catch you guys on the next one later.